A step into the gem theater is like a step into the past. Even the prices reflect what a moviegoer would pay decades ago. I think it was one of the only things you could come do around here that was to get away from work and have fun. My grandpa worked in the mill. City leaders started the refurbishing process when they purchased the property in 2015. So far, they've renovated the historic marquee, added a first floor restroom, and revamped the heating and air. But now they say it's time to improve the customer experience. New sound system, a new screen, new curtains. Most importantly, plans call for installing new seats, switching out the ones that have been in this building since the 1960s. Crews will do that while maintaining the vintage charm of this single screen cinema. A lot of our historic buildings are gone. Um, and a lot of cities, you know, still have those. So this is one of those icons that needs to be preserved at all costs. In the process, they'll give the community a chance to get involved. They're offering theater lovers the chance to purchase a brick under the marquee or some of the old seats. They can also sponsor a new seat. In the first two days of the sale, city officials have already sold a quarter of the old seats and available bricks. That's a testament to the love this community has for their precious gem. I grew up coming here. Our school would take field trips and come see movies here. Um, I think it's a staple for the community. Reporting in Kannapolis, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.